Hey friends, it's Christy here for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm going to be making a card combining a whole bunch of Lawn Fawn sets. I love to mix and match. The sets I'll be using are O oh Gnome, Special Delivery, Some Bunny, and Gnome Sweet Gnome. So I've stamped out my images with Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink on some Nina Solar White cardstock, and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my gnome's skin, and for that I'm using E000, E00, and E11. And I prefer to color darkest to lightest, so I'm using that E11 for a little shadow up under their hairline, blending out with the E00, and then the E000 for a highlight. And I'm adding a little blush to the girl gnome's cheeks with R20. For her hair, I'm using E53 and E51. I'm going to add a little shadow up under her hat with that E53 and also put a little bit on each section of her braids and then I'll blend that out with the E51. And I will also use these markers to color in her little clogs. For the boy gnome's hair and beard, I didn't want to go with gray. I wanted something that was a little bit softer. So I chose E40 and E41. Just added a little bit of shading with the E41 and blend it out with the E40. I'm going to add in the E42 to that combo and use these three shades to color in the bottom half of the mushroom house. So I added a shadow up under the cap with the E42 and brought that down on the sides, put a little bit under the window ledge, blend it out with the E41 and then the E40. The next combo that I'm using is YR00, YR01, and YR02. So I'm going to color in the Girl Gnome's hat with these shades. I wanted something that was kind of like a nice apricot shade. So I put my darkest on the outside edges and I'm blending toward the center because that is where the highlight would be. And there wasn't quite enough contrast for me so I did go back in with a second layer and just kind of increase that saturation and smooth out that blend. I'm also going to use these shades to color in one of the envelopes. So I always like to send out my cards in colorful envelopes because I think it's such a treat to open your mailbox and get a nice bright pop of color in the mix of all the plain white bills. So um, I'm going to color all of these envelopes in similar colors to what I like to send out. I also did the little heart seal on one of the other envelopes. And now I'm moving on to the little girl's dress. And for that, I'm using B quadruple zero, B zero zero, and B02. So I'm adding the shading under her arms and at the top where her apron is kind of drawn around her dress and then on the sides of her body blending out with the B00, and then the B quadruple zero is my highlight shade. I also made her uh, collar just a bit darker with that B02, and I'm gonna do another one of the envelopes with this combination. So I'm just kind of like outlining the edges of the letter or the envelope with the B02, and blending toward the center at, with the lighter shades to keep that wording nice and light and highlighted. I'm also going to do the male delivery bag with these shades because um, normally it would be a little bit of a darker shade of blue, but I really wanted to stick to this simple color palette that I had in mind. So this is the closest option. And I am going to do just a tiny bit of adjustment on this image later to make it fit. I'm going to do the front door of the mushroom house with this combo as well. I'd like to repeat different colors, the main focal colors of my scene, over and over on the card in just different places. It helps your eye to kind of bounce around. And I did use the B quadruple zero to color in the windows and the girl gnome's apron, and also add a little bit of shading to the white spots on the top of the mushroom house. 
For the rest of the cap of the mushroom house, I'm going to use R24, R29, and R39. So that R39 is going to add such a nice amount of depth to this combo. And then the R24 is going to add just a bit of lightness because it has a bit of a pinky tone to it. So I really like this combination. And that R29 is just the most gorgeous shade of red. So I am started with the R39. I kept my shading stronger on the right hand side just because the house is turned a little bit more toward the left. So I laid in the shadow on the right and on the bottom edge and then blended out with the R29. And I'm just being very careful to go around those spots because I don't want to get any red in those white spots. It would be pretty hard to remove. You could use your colorless blender to kind of push it out a little bit, but red is very tricky to remove. So my best bet is to just be really careful as I color around them. I did do a second layer on that mushroom cap just to smooth out that blend and increase the saturation, but I did that off screen just to save a little bit of time in the video. And now I'm moving on to my boy gnome's hat and I'm going to color it the same way that I did the girl since he's facing forward, his shadows are gonna be on both the left and the right and the highlight in the center, especially because that hat is a rounded object. And then I'll do another one of the letters in this red combo. I thought that was perfect since this is going to be a love card. It could definitely work for Valentine's Day. I'm going to purposely avoid putting a Valentine's sentiment on it just so it could be used year round if you wanted to give it for any occasion or an anniversary or anything like that. Um, this would be a great card for that. Um, but it could certainly be for Valentine's Day if you wanted to. I did one of the stamps on the other letters and now I'm going to move on to my Boy Gnomes shirt. And for that I'm using Y11, Y13, and Y15. I also colored in the little snap on the mail bag with the Y15. So I'm doing his shadows on the sides of his body and the undersides of his arms, blending toward the center with the Y13 and then the Y11. I also added a little light inside the house with the Y11 and colored the centers of the flowers with the Y15. And I'm also going to do the little rubber part of the handle with the Y15 and Y13 on the spade and I did the stamp and the heart seal on two of the other letters as well. For the Boy Gnome's belt and shoes, I'm going to use E27 and E25. Just used a little E27 as my darkest, blended out with the E25. And then I'll carry these colors over to the door jam and the window ledge. So I use the E27 on the outside edges and I'm blending toward the center with the E25, but this time I'm also going to squeeze the E23 in there since there's a bigger area to color. I'm also going to do the wood part of my wheelbarrow with that E23, and then I'm going to use the E23 to color in his pants and um, I decided to add in the E21 to blend those out so they'd be a little bit different from his shoes. And I did the belt buckle with E21 as well. And then I'm moving on to my grays. I'm using C1, C3, C5, and C7. I'm gonna start with C7 and I'm going to do the rest of the handle on my spade and I'm going to do my wheel on my wheelbarrow. So I blended that out with the C5 as my mid-tone, and then I'll use the C3 as my highlight. I'm also going to do the handle on my wheelbarrow with that combo. And then I'll use the C1 and C3 with the C0 to color in the rest of my spade and my wheelbarrow. So I wanted them to kind of look like a metallic silver shade. So I did a little shading on the bottom edge of the spade and on the right hand side of the wheelbarrow since it's a little bit tipped in that direction and then blend it out with the C1 and then the C0 as my lightest. 
I wanted to introduce some pink in here since this is a love theme card. So I pulled in RV13, RV14, and RV17. I'm going to use these shades to color in my final envelope and I'm coloring them just the same as I did the other uh, envelopes, just kind of keeping the center part light. I'm also going to color in my little trio of flowers. So I'm putting the darkest, that RV17, very close to the inside of the flower and then blending toward the edge of the petals with the RV14. I left off the RV13 on those. And I'm also going to color the little heart at the bottom of the letter on which I've stamped Love You. I used RV10 to add just a little bit of shading to that letter. I didn't want it to be plain white, so I thought a soft pink would be nice. And I pulled in my colorless blender to just kind of smooth the transition between that and the white area. And then I pulled in YG25 for the leaves on my flowers, and I trimmed these images out with their matching dies. For my card base, I've scored and folded a piece of mermaid cardstock to a standard A2 top fold card, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto my card front with peacock ink, and I'm stamping just a little note to say, dot, 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 and that comes from the Love Poems stamp set. Then I'm going to open up my card so that I can stamp on the inside. I always like to finish off my cards in this way. So I'm taking another sentiment from Love Poems along with the other gnome and the little trio of flowers again from O oh Gnome. Next I took the Meadow Backdrop Portrait and die cut that out of some Noble Fur cardstock and then lined the back with some Scotch 3M foam tape. So I'm going to peel off those release papers and then I'm going to line that up on my card front. Make sure that it is nice and straight with the edges of the card and then I'll pop that down into place. And now I'm ready to add my images. I like to think of this as setting the stage and kind of acting out the little scene and the story that I had in my head when I came up with the concept for the card. So I added the little mushroom house up in the top right corner, and I did add that with some foam tape to give that some dimension as well. Next, I wanted to add my boy gnome and the wheelbarrow, so I kind of just had them placed where I wanted them to figure out the spacing, and then I added them with my glue tube. I also cut down the strap of the mail bag so that it would be able to fit this boy gnome. I considered adding that love letter in his hand, but I decided that was just kind of too much in that space little corner down there. So I'm going to add that somewhere else, but I am going to glue down that mail bag. So he's kind of like the Mr. McFeely of the gnome world. If you're familiar with Mr. Rogers, which was one of my favorite shows when I was a child. Um, so yeah, it just kind of made me laugh when I was thinking about this. He is going to be bringing the mail to our girl gnome and she has received so many love letters from her secret admirers that he had to deliver them with a wheelbarrow because they wouldn't all fit in his bag. So now I'm going to take the rest of those letters and kind of stack them in that wheelbarrow to create a little tower of envelopes and I'm just going to keep adding them until that looks really nice and full. I also like to be really conscious about where I place certain colored images on the scene. I like to keep the colors kind of spread out. So I put that blue envelope purposely over on the right hand side. So it would be kind of far away from both the gnome's mailbag and also the blue front door of the a little mushroom house and uh, I'm doing the similar things with the other images as well. I have that pink envelope down there. It's going to be, you know, broken up by the other envelopes in regards to where I'm going to place the flowers. All of that I just like to keep in mind as I start to add things just to kind of um, add more visual pop to the scene. 
So I ended up tucking that love letter in with the envelopes and then I added my girl over in front of her house. So she's been out doing some gardening while she was waiting for the mail. So there's her little trio of flowers and I'm also gonna add the spade in her hand. I also die cut the two clouds that come with the Meadow Backdrop Portrait die set. So I'm going to glue the larger one down right up under the sentiment and then I'll tuck the smaller one back behind the mushroom house. But after looking at my scene, I decided that it needed just a few more pops of color and something to kind of fill in some of those empty spaces. So I grabbed the three smallest butterflies from Butterfly Kisses. I colored those with some of the same combos that I used on the envelopes and other areas on the card so everything still matches. And I really love how those finish off the scene. I also decided to add just a bit of Stardust Stickles. This is my favorite embellishment, and I just love how it catches the light when you tip the card. So I added it to the three butterflies, the centers of the flowers, and the heart seals, stamps, and the button on the mailbag. So I'm going to pick that up so you can see how it sparkles, and I'll give you another peek at the inside of the card as well. I had such a blast creating this card for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.